Coming up this week on B Archer's Choice. America's favorite hunting couple. This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome to the Archer's Choice. This week we are going with Casey, Casey Richardson. Right, Lost River up in, Outfitters. Up in Saskatchewan. Northern Saskatchewan. Northern Saskatchewan, yes, you northern, betcha. Northern, you betcha. Yep, right, yep. That's... And, and we've got Posse going up there. We have Shirley and Tim Strickland and Dr. Tony Permanian. Yep, and crazy Italian Tony. Right, they're going to go up there and they're going to hunt the almighty black bear. Yep, the black bear, one of our favorite things to do. Yes, and we're going to start really the show off. I really want a still. We're going to start the show off with Shirley because girls should go first. Okay, I'll let that go this time. Well, she, she's got, this is an awesome hunt. Check this out when she stalks up on this black bear. You go, girl. Shoot those bigger bear than them boys. Here it is, Casey. You're right, it went all the way through. The leading edge broadheads do the trick. Looks there. good, yes. We'll wait. <laughs> all right, we he found him, Casey. No, he didn't. He went maybe 25, 30 yep. yards. What do you think, kiddo? Oh, man. That's a big fat boar. Casey, look at the size of this boar, and look at look his hair. hair. Look at it. Well, that... I've never seen hide this thick and woolly. Scars, it's almost gray underneath, isn't scars it? Scars on his face. His teeth are worn down. Yeah, he's he's got some days on him. Scars. Wow. What do you guys think? Is this an awesome bear or what? It's an awesome bear. I am really stoked. That's an awesome bear. I've been here. I haven't even been in camp two hours, and I'm standing behind this monster boar. Beautiful coat. I'm just so excited. I, I I just can't wait for Tim to come back in from hunting tonight and see this bear. He is going to be so jealous. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. 
Yes, that's it. It is? Are you sure? Yep. Okay, well next, well first of all, Shirley, congratulations. What that was a an great awesome, bear. It was awesome. And spotting and stalking, you know, yes. I mean, as usual, like we've always said, is always be prepared for hunting. Whether you're going into a bait site, coming out, whether you're getting out of going your tree stand, deer, deer stand, season, that's right, when you're anything. walking out, never quit hunting till you're back at the vehicle. And never, I mean, there's proof. Never. never, ever, ever. Well, now it's Dr. You, T's turn, Tim's turn. Shirley's Dr. husband T. should be Mr. Shirley, but it's Dr. T. Ooh. Ooh. And, and he does it all with traditional, that's right. the new Hoyt recurve, and he pounds it. I mean, yep, that's right. So let's roll the bear footage, okay? Roll that real good bear Roll footage. that bear footage. Dr. T, you go, buddy, showing us how that traditional equipment really waylays a bear. Complete pasture using that Razorback, that's awesome, buddy. Setting up here. We haven't been here a half an hour, 45 minutes, and we still got a bear standing right there walking down the hill. <laughs> and then this other big guy came down the hill, a little excited. <laughs> <laughs> the other big guy came down the hill, and I mean, it was like, <laughs> Am I supposed to shoot this one? Holy cow! I mean that that's a dandy bear. That for sure is the biggest the biggest black I've ever shot. Yeah. Now folks, uh, what you're looking at is the is the third bear that's been in on this bait uh, in the last 45 minutes and I mean, that's about a 250-pound sow. We haven't been here. We haven't been here 45 minutes for sure. And we had a nice little boar come in here first, and he come in while we were climbing up the tree. And then, uh, and then we heard this big guy clicking down the hill, and he came in right here, and I put it to him, and then. He went over here and died on the side of the hill, and here's this sow. And folks, we haven't been here, we haven't been here 30 minutes. Still popping her teeth. Oh, sure she's popping her teeth. We may uh, see a little action here, bud. Oh, I'd like to film that. Uh, as long as they don't come running up the tree. That's true. That's what I was thinking when they started taking off here. Yeah. <laughs>
this definitely was uh, <laughs> kind of a bizarre scheme of bear hunt here that we're on. Uh, we finally got reinforcements with the guides coming in. Uh, we had a uh, actually a sow after we shot this boar. We had a sh sow come in and, and the best we could figure out is that she was actually in heat and she literally would not let us out of that tree with this boar in here. So it's that time of the year and boy, I'll tell you what, I'm tickled with this guy. I mean, what a what a dandy specimen, and boy, he's been uh, he's been getting after it here. So the breeding season is is definitely on, and uh, boy, I'll tell you what, up here at uh, Lost River Outfitters, uh, this is for real. Welcome back to the Archer Streets. What are you doing? We're running out of gas. It's electric. Oh. You know, even you know, even steady pressure on the gas pedal. I think you can reach it. Keep hey, going. Doctor T, congratulations. That yeah, was buddy. awesome. You know, with the recurve, with, that was that oh, was, traditional that was equipment good. that should count as two, two bears. So we're up. The guys are winning. No, it doesn't. And you didn't win. And now it's Tony's turn. Tony, fellow paisan, goomba. Hey, buddy. There ain't not so many of Italians out there. We got to stick together. You know what I'm, yo, you know what I'm talking about, Tony? Hey, 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 you know, uh, you know. Help me. Hey, yo. Hey, Tone, Goomba, huh? Whoa, what? What are you doing? Wait until the last day. You gotta get it done sooner. This way, we beat the girls faster. Bottom of the ninth, last night, 4.30 p.m., Dr. T and I, Dr. T on the camera, we just had a great bear come in, hit the bait, we stuck it to him, he's laying 25 yards up the hill, Ralph and Vicky, I sure wish you guys were with us up here. I don't think this one will be hard to find. <laughs> Look at that beautiful Saskatchewan black bear. Last night, am I a lucky hunter or what? Beautiful bear. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the Archer's Choice. You know, if you would just Tony, get it right. Tony, hello, going by, yeah, brother. Guys two, girls one, okay. we won, it's yeah, but, over, but wait it's a second. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Shirley shot one bear and the guys had to shoot two to equal what Shirley's did. 
What do you think of that one? I'm gonna take the fifth on this, and you all, you guys all know what I'm talking about. When your wives go, oh, nah, 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 and you say, no, honey, I'm uh, take the fifth. Plead the fifth. Can you count to five? This next hunt is what pretty What an honor to have this next hunt. Huh? Yes, it is. And Casey, we want to thank you for taking the Absolutely. opportunity and filming it. Charlie Whitfield, the hunter, he's 80 years old when he sh takes this bear that you guys are going to see. He's 80? Ne he's Big now 84 and he's still going strong and he's hunting. He's still with hunting. Yes, it's awesome. We just want to really share this footage with you and just watch this. It's awesome. Th this is for everybody out there that says, you know, uh, no, nah, I'm too old. No, you're not. You're never too old, nor are you too young to participate in the great sport of hunting. Check this out. I got goose pimples. I give you goose pimples. Ow. Charlie, thanks a bunch for continuing on that hunting heritage your entire life. Congratulations. <laughs> That's okay. a nice bear, eh, buddy? Pope and Young? Poper, Poper. Well, we. Bound to be. Gotta be. I, I'm good pretty job confident. And trailing and guiding. We did, uh, we did a good teamwork on this one. I gotta say, I mean, let's put this in the video. <laughs> what a dandy. Hooray for Lost Rivers Outfitters. Ray! <laughs> look at the scars on this guy's noggin. Pick his head up there and look at Oh, Look at that. He's an old fart. Cut his gut Yep. We got on the stand, what, about so 630? I think he'll go 18 and a half or 19. Right in that yeah. range. He got a good head on him. He's pretty skinny from the winter. I think all the bears up here didn't do very good on berries he last fall. He that big to me when he won Dandy. Outstanding, guys. What do you think, buddy? Magnificent. Next year, maybe, we'll try again? Well, let's, let's hope so. Let's see if we can get Thank the mosquitoes. You very much. Mosquitoes to eat us again. For, for an old, I was going to say it was a bad word, but I won't. <laughs> I can't believe the scars on his head, Charlie. He's an old booger and he's been in many a scrap. That's for sure. He's a big husky bear. Well, let's go get some help because I ain't going to be able to pack him. Unless you want to. Wow, we hope you enjoyed this week's show on the Archer's Choice. Was had, it cool? It was really cool. We had Shirley's Big Bear, we had Dr. T, Tony, and Charlie's Awesome Hunt, and Char thanks Casey again for, for filming it and allowing us to use it. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've always said it before and we're never going to change, and that is, you're never too old, you're never too young. We need to stop the fighting amongst ourselves and get everybody involved in hunting. No matter what weapon of choice, if it's legal in the state, province, or country, shut up, let's stop the fighting, because this is what it's all about. Just to think. Charlie, 80 years old, he's 84, and he's still bow hunting. So see, you're only like a little over half that. So, you know, that just gives you longevity. You're thinking you can still hunt for another 30 something years. Good job. We'll see you next week right here. Same time, same channel. Right here on the Archer's Choice. Choice.